I bought a camper. <laughs> Months ago, I decided to stop daydreaming about a tiny house, cabin, camper, getaway thing and make it happen. I found a homemade fish house on Marketplace. I figured it could be my getaway on wheels with some love and patience. I spent the winter pouring my time, energy, and ideas into this project. In high school, I took a cabinetry class and I don't know how <laughs> or why I passed. Building is not my forte. Thankfully though, I have family and people around me who love me and helped me out with this project. I got the fish house, soon to be tiny camper in late fall. Immediately I wanted to put a bed in it. I wanted a queen size bed so I framed it myself so that it would fit and be up nice and high. I put a new furnace in too so that it'd be warm because I'd be working on this through the winter and wanted to be able to use my cabin year round. The flooring needed some updating so I used interlocking foam mats and then cut those to fit the floor space. It turned out really, really well and I was already in love. I got a regulator for the new furnace but the hose pieces didn't fit. I got the wrong ones and I actually got the wrong ones two times, actually maybe three times, but then took a break from that so that I could get plywood to cover the bed with. I cut the plywood to fit on the bed and once I did that, it started to feel super real and I covered the wires on the walls so that my cat wouldn't eat them. Found a mattress that I could use. It was big, it was, you know, queen size and that was kind of tough to get into the space, but it worked. Then I decided I should probably remove the rattle reels from the ceiling because they didn't fit the vibe. Finally, I got the correct uh, pieces for my uh, furnace and installed that. These shelves needed to go. They were just, I don't know, I didn't like them really. I found this cool coffee table thing on Marketplace and I decided to chop the top of it off. I wanted the top to be used as a counter for like cooking. I took the bottom and put it under my bed so that I could have drawers in the camper fit perfectly. I put some decorations up to make it feel homey and to make myself feel like I was getting somewhere. I also put sheets on the bed for the same reason, to make it feel like I was getting somewhere and to feel nice. I removed more fishing things from the walls that I didn't think I would need for my cabin. Then I decorated more, again, to make it feel nice and fun to be inside of. Next I began removing the scraggly pieces from my countertop and began daydreaming about how I wanted the counter to look in my space. Sanding the countertop and sanding the countertop and sanding the countertop took a long time so that I could refinish it. The roof was leaking in my camper so we had to scrape that off. This basket I turned into a nice shelf, that was fun. We measured my daydream into reality. Corey assisted me with lighting in the camper when my battery died until I was able to recharge the battery so my lights would work again. I started buying cute things for in my camper. My boyfriend Corey and his brother helped me to put together legs for my countertop dream. I spray painted the legs. We measured out shelves for underneath the countertop and cut them and then cut them again. A lot of sanding was involved and in finishing of the wood and securing them to the shelf was a task in and of itself. But it turned out so beautifully. I finally was able to bring the countertop to my tiny cabin and put it inside. That was just a great day, though I did have some trouble getting the counter in the door. <laughs> it was a lot of fun putting things together in the camper, especially now that I have space to put things, and these shelves really added a lot of space to put my stuff inside of this tiny cabin.
I made a bowl by hand to put in my camper. I also, of course, took breaks and spent time with my cat. Finally, I needed a cat bedroom. No tiny cabin is complete without the addition of a bedroom for your pet. And that's where I began this week. I'll be putting Artie's bedroom on top of the little drawers that I put under the bed in my tiny cabin. Seven and a quarter, so 32 and three quarter. We're building it ourselves with a cute front door and just plywood sides and walls. A little bit. Work. Good enough? We can leave it. Yep. Good enough. Why the open? Because uh, you may not have gotten the right width, right? Just go nice and easy until it's just snug. And you'll see the board come together. Oh, go the other direction though. Oh no. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> wow. So it was perfect. It was perfect. Do you care if there's some spots that have bigger holes than others? Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to make these corners. Yeah, I am. So you should put a drill, drill a hole there, 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 there. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to. I just want to. You won't be able to. You can try it. You know how to run that, right? Oh, nice. He was right. You were right. <laughs> no, I didn't ruin it yet. Okay. Wide open. I kind of want it in more. Right there. Perfect. So this is a door that opens and closes so that we can access Artie's litter box and food and water. So this is like the human access. And then this is the kitty door. So already has his own little door to go in and out of.
What did we do? You don't want to gap, do you? Do you want to gap? Ow! Who cares? Because this door sits right here, and this uh, plywood needs to go to the door. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, thanks for hearing me out. Thanks for hearing me out! I try. <laughs> So I did a little bit of thrift shopping for my tiny cabin and I wanted to show you what I got because I think I found the coolest things ever. Little candle that has flowers and leaves inside of it. The next thing I got is actually a fan, which I'm usually not somebody who gets very hot, but I thought this was gorgeous. It's handmade. I don't know where it's from, but you can tell it's handmade. I'm going to use it as a pot holder, four or five hot things to, that I need to set on the counter to set it on this. The next thing I found is this hairbrush. It's like a vintage old-fashioned hairbrush that I found at the thrift store and I'm actually gonna use it. It doesn't look like it's been used. Every time I see something like this at a thrift store I think about how cool it is and that I'd want it but they're usually like 20 bucks and I wouldn't actually use it but this was three dollars and I actually I am gonna use it. I also was thinking of getting some kind of journal or sketchbook to keep in the camper for myself and other people who visit my camper cabin to be able to journal or write things and kind of keep a diary of the cabin. I found this, it's called the Friendship Notebook, and each page is mostly blank, but with little friendship quotes, and I thought it was just gorgeous. This is the bowl that I turned. In my last video I showed myself turning a bowl. It's finished, it's dry, and it's ready to go in the camper, so I have to find a place to put it. Uh, my little friend Aubrey, she uh, made this bottom piece for me, and it says, from Aubrey to Jody, so I left it. So you could open it and close it, but she made that artwork for me. And then another friend I have named Sadie made this. So it's just a cute little artwork that it doesn't match the vibe of the cabin at all, but I'm going to put it in here. Thank you.